Uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I'd... Oh, look, another, another, I'm yeah. saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. Gay yeah. is normal. Yeah. Gay is just nature. It's so just... that's another thing, dude. If I have a kid and I think he's gay, I'm going to do everything I can to make this kid not gay. I'm going <laughs> to... I might even take him to therapy. If he has a list and starts walking around like this, dude, I don't want to f gay as a kid. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone's... Let me ask model. you something. Are you, you, are you, are chance, you gay? Have you had the chance no, to are, interact with a are, more diverse Are you... Crowd? Let me know. Are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking. I'm, this is a part of the, are you Are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh, man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh, man. Well, you, dude, you're a weak man, dude. You're like, you're part of the problem you elected justin trudeau like would you when he sees the bank accounts like you're just pathetic and and the fact that the fact that you have no backbone and and has he shut down your country and seized bank accounts you ask me some stupid shit like that go yourself move the on man no, that doesn't really coward. answer the question but i did want to ask also things you said about the trans community you said uh this past october when they announced the bud light sponsorship that You'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and they'll, they'll know what they stand for. Are you this guy's like, hey, this Canadian's not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a what a mental illness, and now all of a sudden, people like you have weaseled your way in the world. You are. You are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your bullshit you're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could in school. I don't want my kids being taught about you know their sexual preference like dude this guy is the enemy uh, you want to look at the enemy to our world it's that mother right there those are some harsh words i mean it's sean strickland the dude has no filter he has been saying everything that is on his mind he just says it directly i make fun of everybody but muslims are so there is a guy named albert durov they have a lot of muslims at the gym love these guys so one day albert durov comes up to me and he was like hey sean can i talk to you i thought he was gonna show me a move i'm like all right sure i'll be your wrestling dummy for all these little muslims come in the cage well we didn't guard what, what position are we in here albert he's like no 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 sit sit sit, sit down sit down sean I'm like oh puts his hand on my leg muslims dude are super touchy they're so, friendly super friendly guys so odd especially because of religion so he's like sean 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 in my country i cannot be friends with you i'm like what are you f talking about he's like you say things about islam pretty much saying i cannot be friends with you because what you say about islam right and i've never i mean i'd make fun of jews christians scientologists I'd make fun of everybody so after that after he caressed my leg and rubbed my head a little bit i was like okay dude i'm gonna lay off islam so now you have an idea how he will forgive a person you have to invest in their life so he will do the changes to keep you in their lives. He doesn't like the idea that somebody just says, this is the new normal. I didn't invest in you, but I'm going to ask you something about your life that you should invest in. And I think it comes off in the wrong way. Why? Because he is this person. I mean, that was like, I wouldn't even say it's the tip of the iceberg. Right. I, mean, I remember like being a little kid, so I would always miss school because my dad would get home drunk start drinking at like six he would get home at like seven and and like just be up until like three in the morning just like just tell my drinking? mom tell him drinking tell my mom she's a whore they uh, say kill her like and i remember i used to like what a loser huh oh, piece sorry shit. to say that about your dad no, he died, <laughs> <lame. laughs> he died of cancer but anyway i don't go to school i'm up till three in the morning and uh, I, I couldn't stay awake in school. Like, so I, like, I remember I was like in third grade or no second grade and I kept falling asleep at my desk and my teacher took my desk away from me and she made me like, like stand up. And so me, I'm like, fuck you being a little kid. I just went and fell asleep on the ground. And mind you, like the school system's like, oh, Sean, like he's just a bad kid. They don't realize I'm up till three o'clock in the right. morning. Like, you know, late. I mean, fuck, dude. I remember, it's hard to stay up late and learn. Dude, I remember, like, laying in bed. Like, I remember I stopped believing in God, man. Like, fucking. <laughs> like, I had fucking, um, yeah, it's crazy shit, dude.
Some crazy shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bud. So, ah, oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. That's all good, dude. We don't have to talk, man. I can just sit here with you for a minute. <laughs> Heterosexual man having a bad time being raised by gangster people a little racist that he even admitted. He had to change his ways. Do you really think he has time to think about the bad jokes that he made to cope for the issue so he can survive? By the way, dude, when I, when I make fun of gays, dude, I fucking, I love gay men, dude. Gay men are awesome. Lesbians, not so much. Lesbians hate me. Lesbians look at me like the guy that hurt them. I'm not the guy. I'm not your father. But gay men, gay men look at me like they want to fuck me, and I respect that, you know? They compliment me. They slide in my DM. I get some dick pics every now and then. I respect that shit. And it's not like he's calling out everybody is weak or only the LGBTQ. No, 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 no. He's calling about the mindset how people solve certain things in certain country by pointing the finger always at somebody else instead of being responsible yourself because accountability doesn't exist. If you have it, cool, pay more taxes. If you don't, cool, we will help you. It's a different mindset. There's a reason more people have depression and anxiety. Why? Because we don't have the tool to fight it off. We can just point finger. And I think that is a problem in society. So maybe Sean Strickland is not the person that might say this the way I try to say it, even when I can be rough on the edges. But hey, if you translate what most people translate in a good faith way, even if I say it in the wrong way, I think we would be on a better planet. I think that would be a very good thing. But guess what? Who's going to translate that as a positive message? Not that side. <laughs> because they always ask the same question. When everybody can just find all these clips on the internet within five minutes. But hey, that's just me. Anyway, like, share, hit the comment. Let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. And yeah, peace.